All right, hello everyone. If you've been watching <clears throat> my videos, I've recently been work uh, working on the update notifier for Nutix. And while doing that, after I got it working the way I want, I started thinking I could incorporate something that I was doing on the update notifier for Nutix into the Mio Linux update notifier and that's what I've done and I was going to show you the results and if anyone could possibly give me some feedback on if you you know if you like this better or not I would appreciate it so what I've done of course you get the desktop notification as usual and you get the notification in the system tray now this is a very fresh install I just installed this maybe an hour ago maybe not even that long ago and this is from last year one of the Mio moderns from last year so there's probably going to be quite a few updates <laughs> but I wanted to show you the new functions that I've implemented into the update notifier for Mio Linux and if you recall I had it working uh, where you would when you clicked on this icon in the system tray it would throw up a list another notification of what updates were available and when you clicked on that list I mean yeah when you click the list it'd go away but seeing the list would allow you to decide if you wanted to go ahead and run the updates or not <clears throat> but now I've done something different so let's click the notification in the system tray and we get this window that pops up and says would you like to update your system now so we'll click on show update so that we can decide if we want to update our system now or not and don't be surprised if this notification runs off the screen because I'm sure there's going to be quite a few and it might take in a moment to show up if if there are a whole lot because it's having to read what all the updates are oh dear it goes off the screen <laughs> all right so for this for this point right here I'm gonna click no just to show what happens click no the window disappears and it's up to you do you want to go ahead and install them maybe you know in an hour or two whatever um, whatever happens that window or not the window but the notification won't appear again until the update notifier uh, reads that there are updates available so if you update manually it's not going to show again until Devon sends down some more updates alright so what I'm going to do I only have this running for just a few minutes uh, I've got it checking for updates like every five minutes right now while I do this video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video. I just wanted to show what happens when you click no. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when the updater notifies me again. Alright, the update notifier is notifying me again. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Click the icon in the system tray. And again, I'll do this you know just like I was doing it for the first time show me the updates would you like to update your system now I don't know show me the updates <laughs> and we have all these updates goodness gracious there's a bunch of them now I'm gonna click yes and let you see what happens the window goes away it opens the terminal you enter your password and this this is the root password at first I had it set to uh, open the terminal and enter your sudo password and I started thinking well there might be people who install this and they don't set up sudo so I've got it set up where you have to enter your root password alright so let me do that it's reading everything goodness gracious 100 up 192 
or 144 megabytes out of the okay I'm gonna hit yes <laughs> and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stop talking now because this is probably gonna take a while so I'll probably pause the video during most of this and when it's almost over I will come back because I want to show you what happens when it's finished alright I'll be right back guys Today was Labor Day <clears throat> here in the United States. If you live in the United States, I hope you had a nice Labor Day. I had to work. I don't know what it is. I work in water treatment. And it's crazy. People seem to want water even on holidays. <laughs> but that's life. I've been working in water treatment, oh gosh, I would say 25 years now, long time, and in those 25 years, I think I've had, it's either two or three, yeah, two or three Christmases off in 25 years, because people even want water on Christmas. What's up with you people? <laughs> Work weekends, holidays, all kind of crazy hours. But if you had today off in the United States for Labor Day, I hope you enjoyed it. Come on. I would mentioned earlier about you had to enter your root password. If you notice here in the title bar, it does say SU for Sue. Um, I can't decide. I, I think it's best to leave it where you have to enter the root password. And there you go. When it finishes with the updates, the terminal automatically closes. I think it's best to leave it where you have to enter a root password. I think there's probably a lot less people who don't have a root account whatsoever than there are people who don't have a sudo account. But that's it guys. Wanted to show the work I've done on the Mio Linux update notifier and it will be in the next uh, release. I'm waiting until Beowulf becomes stable before I do a new Mio Modern and that's that's the update notifier you'll get in Mio Modern. Alright, you guys have a great uh, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Alright, take care. Thanks.